Matt with Hamden Home Buyers here on Wavenwood Street in Springfield. Uh, this is our newest acquisition. It's a short sale property that we closed on. Um, I'm in the backyard. We got a we got another pool. This is actually our second pool in a month that we've taken out. This one here is an above ground pool and it's got a, a torn liner. And it's in pretty rough shape, so we're just taking it down. Here's a good look at it. Um, it takes up a lot of the backyard, so in a nice family neighborhood like this, it helps to get rid of these and it opens up the backyard. We'll get rid of the pool and the deck here. Um, let's go around front. I'll show you what the front of the house looks like. Okay, here's the front of the house on Ravenwood. Uh, just your basic ranch. They did add an addition on here. What we're going to do is we're going to put a new roof on it. They already power washed the outside. They put a new front door in. We got the new shutters on there too. Um, it's already sided so we don't have to do too much. Um, just add some new windows and it's going to be a great house. This is a nice family neighborhood so um, it should be an easy resale. Let's go inside. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, here we are inside the house on Ravenwood. Uh, we got pretty lucky with this one. The cabinets were in good shape. They're pretty nice cabinets so we're able to save them. Uh, work has already started here. The guys kind of beat me to it. I wasn't able to get out here and, and make a video before they started work so you can see we got the plastic hanging over the cabinets because they've been doing some sheetrock and we're going to start painting. In here we're going to put a new countertop on, on the cabinets, a uh, new tile backsplash, paint all the walls. This house has a great open floor plan. Um, the kitchen and, and the living area are all connected. You can see here this is our living room. They got it patched up, ready to paint. We were able to keep the, the floor here in the living room so we have that covered so we don't get any paint on it. Here's a look at our new front door that they just put in today I believe. We're going to have to replace a few of these windows but uh, for some of them have been replaced, some of them haven't so we just got to do about six of them. This right here, we're going to tile this floor. We're going to use those nice 18 by 18 tiles. It's going to look great here. Now this will be the dining area. We're going to get rid of this ceiling fan and add in a nice chandelier. You can kind of see how nice this open feel is here. On this countertop, we'll probably add a, uh, like an overhang with, with a breakfast bar. So you can kind of sit in here and look out into the living room. We'll come around the corner here. Hardwood floors, we're going to sand these down, refinish them. The bathroom here was a total gut. We have everything out, except for the tub. They're going to take that out later. But this, this bathroom was probably the worst part of the house. And uh, we just took everything out. We're going to start new. We do have three bedrooms here. It's, uh, it's your basic ranch. But in this room here, we're going to save these hardwoods as well. They've already took the wallpaper off the wall here. And you can see some of the, the patching here getting ready to paint. We did have a roof leak in this back corner, um, so we're doing that new roof. That should take care of that, and that that leak is going to be fixed, patched up, and repaired. Here's our master bedroom. Right now, it's a storage closet for all the tools, but we'll just paint this, paint the trim, put new windows in, and we're all set. I'm going to take you downstairs and show you what that looks like. Okay, here's a look at the basement. It's already partially finished for us, so we just have to clean it up. We'll, we'll paint the walls. They're already sheetrocked. There's already a drop ceiling in here with some, with some recessed lighting, so we'll just fix what needs to be fixed with these uh, panels, bring some new panels in, and probably paint the floor or, or bring some carpet in. I'm not sure what we'll do. But it's a great feature on a ranch house like this because it uh, finished basement adds some more square footage, which is really going to help the resale. Uh, so again, this property was a short sale. Uh, it took about a year to negotiate this. So with the short sales, you know, I like to just get as many as we can in the pipeline. And every once in a while, one of them will hit. You know, you're definitely not something that you can get done in, in 30 days. They do take some time, but generally you can get some good deals from them. So that's about it. Stay tuned for some more updates from here at Ravenwood.